5200 series master clock outputting 482 code can support up to 50 clocks on a single run. These can be connected by daisy chaining a two core cable from one clock to the next. While the polarity of the connection is not essential, ensure the power is disconnected from all clocks before wiring the inputs. The cable should be wired from ports A and B of output 1 at the back of the master clock to the serial inputs at the back of the clock. To configure the output on the master clock to the desired setting, enter the menu using the up button. From here, navigate to the system settings and press up again to enter. Press the plus button until the screen displays 482. A master clock transmitting 482 code can output up to 15 different time zones. To set these zones, enter the menu and select Output 1. Each of the 15 zones can now be set, starting with Zone 2. For a full list of location codes, please consult a Wharton clock manual. Once the master clock has been configured, the clock needs to be set to receive 482 code. Using an RC100 remote or the buttons on the clock, enter the menu and navigate to the sync menu. Select 482 from the options and the clock will exit the menu, illuminating only the colons on the display until it has synced with the master clock. This will occur on the minute's edge. Repeat this process for any other clocks connected to the master clock. Once the clock has been set up to receive 482 code, the location menu will be replaced by the zone menu. This allows you to select which of the time zone outputs from the master clock will be applied to this unit.